we have the quadrant adjuster. So that guy is right here. And I had to clean up a little spot over there underneath the uh, pedal. I think they added or welded something underneath that was kind of hitting it right there. So we had to cut that off. So basically what it says with the kit, it comes with all the spacers that you're supposedly going to need. Um, it says uh, pretty much all of these are going to go to the front side of it. And then it's going to say three for the back side, but it's not going to fill in as we're going to show you. We've been trying to do some uh, test runs on it. The other thing that we get is uh, this guy right here, and what that is is just a spacer around here on the cable just so you don't have a lot of slack along this keyway and this heat shrink. So you put all this all together, you install it, then you give it a heat shrink and it stays at the very, it keeps the pedal right there so it's just to cut off the slack. That's what this is for. So that's what we're going to do. That's why we also have the adjuster just to make sure that uh, the cable is nice and stiff. Alright, we also got these uh, from AutoZone. These are the bushings that we're going to need for our brake. And uh, we're not going to use it for our, obviously, for our our uh, clutch pedal because it's a nice tight tight fit there. So, but for the brake, we will need this. So we picked these up from AutoZone. So we're going to go ahead and get all this done. Try and get this put together so we can get the steering wheel in here, get the start putting in the uh, dashboard, and start getting the Dakota digital. They want the quadrant to be very tight onto the uh, the pinhole. Let me see. You know what I mean? They don't want they don't want so any all slack. All six of these are gonna go in. Yeah, all six of those I put right. I put That's in there. Cool. Yeah. And then you slide it in from the back first, and then. And this is just to try to adjust or what? Yeah. No, it doesn't want to go in. Let's see. It has to be a real nice and tight fit. There it goes. Okay. All right. And then uh, once, and then. Well, you could use three, honestly. There's a third one you took off. No, that's the one I just put on. Oh, okay. I would. All right. How's it looking? It's good. It's set up. You got yeah, good clearance. Oh, you're good. It is not touching anything. It's uh, it go up, push it all the way down. Yeah, it's not touching anything. Perfect. 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 All right. Well, moving <laughs> forward. Uh, very little. Very little. But that's, that's from we here, and and we went with the thickest pin we can stick in the hole with the washer in there. So, let's see how it doesn't. There's no movement oh. here. I mean, you're gonna get a little movement here. That's not bad. Well, just keep an eye on it, but I think they were doing good on that. It's flush, dude. It's even with the back. There's like that little plate mm -hmm. right behind it. it it's, I mean, it's right on it. All right, cool. There's no play on it. All right, well, then I'll set up the quadrant and then, uh, or yeah, the adjuster, good. and then uh, we'll fit in this we'll cable. Run this bad boy in. Huh? It's their Maxim Motorsports adjuster, and uh, it's already got a hole up there, so we're. They gave us two screws, just like that, two little tiny screws like that, and uh, they look like uh, seven millimeters or uh, a flathead, and we're just going to go right into the hole that's already there. Um, as you guys can tell, it's got two little holes, one in ten, and this guy, once we put that in, all we're going to do is go right inside, and then we just push that in there, and it sets. What this is going to help us do, if this cable is longer than what it needs to be underneath, we get to adjust it. pick up the slack also on the cable it has a little uh, crimp or uh, a little piece of aluminum that just to give us a little bit more slack just to keep it nice and tight so we don't have to pull this guy all the way out so let's go ahead and put this guy in uh, it goes on on this area right yeah but how, how are you gonna hold that thing in well, it's already in for the most part I'm just gonna right, no it makes sense then there was a lot of people that are saying they were having issues with these adjusters mm -hmm. And I think it's because they add it to the stock cable and maybe, you know, it hits the inside of the cable, um, the inside of the pedal. Who knows? We'll find out. The underneath of this. There we go. So that's going to shoot that way. 
And then I guess we're gonna go down underneath and hook it up to the filter. And some lines. Let's see if we can bring them in this way. Let's see. All right, bro. See if you can swing it up there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely longer. Okay. Maximum Motorsports has, in case the cable sticks out more than three quarters length from, from the adapter piece to the back of the spacer here. If we have more than three quarters distance in between here, then they want us to use this spacer here. And it, it is more than three quarters, so I'm gonna have to add it. It's a three piece. Uh, this is the shrink tube. This just catches onto the, to the cable itself. And once you put the shrink tube on top and shrink it up, it'll, it'll create a little bit of a squeeze onto the wire itself. So so it doesn't move, and then and then we can adjust the actual cable itself. So we have no play after that. So here, here, here it goes. Let's see if we can get it on. <laughs> I'm gonna actually. Uh, it might be easier for me to go like this. Route on hook in this guy. Slide this guy in there. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's on there. And this guy will go over. Just kind of hold it in place there for now. And that's pretty much how it goes on. Now you only have this little bit of a gap, which is probably about a quarter inch distance, which we can actually use the adjuster back there to eliminate any kind of travel, any kind of play. Let's see. Yeah, it just shrinks the whole thing down. Come on. Did I can burn it so what? It's a little soft right now. We'll just let it tighten up. then you should have no slack here. And we got about, I don't know, somewhere between half inch to a quarter inch of play. But with the adjuster back here, you'll be able to turn the dial a little bit and that'll walk this guy back and it'll give us zero play. So then when you step on the pedal, you won't have that. See how it's got that little slack right now? We won't have that once we adjust it. So once he's done doing what he's doing over there, we can adjust it. And then we can try and see where we stand with the with the slack. There's more travel? Yeah, now you're tight. Are you going in or out? It's gonna come out on my end. Okay, yeah, That's good because then that'll actually clear. How's that feel? Huh? Don't don't push it down because I gotta still gotta put the clip down there. Huh? I still gotta put the C clip down at the bottom, but Yeah, I know, but just keep going. I, I, I'm just gonna What do you think? Okay. There. There. You have enough? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's nice and that's yeah, right to respond. We have to we can turn it a little more, right there. I think it's right on there. I still got, I still got some turns to turn if I need to. Now it's even tighter. All right, that's good. We'll do it. Yeah. All right, cool.
try to hide it anywhere. We can loom this just so that it doesn't rub on this and damage. Or or we would have to secure it so it doesn't. Well, it's got it's got secure points. Okay. So you see these guys right here. Oh, okay. So it's got some brackets that we're gonna bring in right, here, right. and then it's gonna secure it like either like this or off the block. Even if or something. it comes this way towards the. Even if it comes down a little bit more. Right. Even if it has to come down like even more like that, I like that even better. We could probably just put the uh, the rubber tubing. Those are the bleeders.